Welcome back, Bout Betters. You know, I've been reviewing uh, these fights that apparently are favorite fights, right? Um, you think it's easy uh, to pick a winner and to make a profit um, betting with chalk money, and it is possible. It's just not as easy. That's why I tend to, to bet underdogs. I posed a question to another YouTuber, Burt MMA. Shout out to Burt. He's very, very knowledgeable young kid. Knows his MMA, knows his gambling too, which is uh, a little scary. But more so important, I presented him a question that if you were a better than a minus 350 favorite, for example, should you finish? Burt MMA was on the yes side that you should finish if you were that much of a favorite. I don't know if I believe that um, any longer. And we'll get a couple more bouts this weekend with Makachev and Lemos having uh, giving us some insight into should they finish. Makachev currently is plus 150 uh, by finish and Lemos is plus 125. I I've already disclosed that I have a good bet with uh, Makachev. Uh, by finish already and next up of course if you have not please hit the like and subscribe button can use more of anything to alter as they ca call the algorithm sometimes I honestly really don't care uh, but getting to this uh, next sort of e uh, sure shot uh, Gamera Matus Gamrot versus Jeremy Stevens uh, this is going to be an interesting bout in that it's a strong veteran versus a veteran that uh, is from Europe Jeremy Heathen Stevens is no joke. We all know what he brings. We all know the history that he has, uh, what he's done in his day. The, uh, the, the, and, and we all know what he's going to do. The heathen is going to heathen. The guy is just a mean man, which is fine. That's what you're supposed to be when you're an MMA fighter. Jeremy Stevens has one directive, and that's to win. He's a striker, but being from the Midwest, he was once a wrestler. Uh, he's fighting a KS two-time KSW champ, champ uh, Mat Matus Gamrot, who, who is extremely well-rounded. Uh, he prefers to grapple, but he can strike. Gamrot presents some difficult obstacles for Jeremy Stevens. He's a natural 155 pounder where this event is going to be taking place, uh, who fights Southpaw. He is bigger, more active, accurate, and has better striking defense as well as 100% takedown defense. Another statistical club is that Gamrot lands 4.9 takedowns per bout. The last time Jeremy Stevens uh, faced a wrestler of similar caliber was back in 2016 against Frankie Edgar, where he landed five, where Edgar landed five takedowns and attempted two subs. In many a, a Stevens' loss, it's been where he's been taken down by his opponents. Stevens ha also hasn't had a KO finish in three years. Um, he just isn't clean. Despite developing, he's always regressing into a brawler. In this match, I gotta give the even the striking to Matus Gamrot. Uh, it, it, the striking defense, got again, gotta give it to Gamrot. Gamrot's more active on on the Eastern uh, European circuit. Was a champion there. That that it isn't like being champion in Poland. It's it. I think that would be pretty. Um, it's not anywhere near what the UFC is or what a UFC champion is, but it means something. It means that you've beat a lot of badass people in your um, in that region. So uh, it, grappling and striking evasion, um, I don't really like how either of these guys move, uh, but I have to give it to Gamrot. Counter jiu-jitsu, I've seen more of Steven's escape um, takedowns as well as compromising position or compromised positions where he was in. So I, even though he's been submitted a few times, I have still have to give that to Jeremy Stevens because he's been in those vulnerable positions. That's not a big plus in, in terms of uh, Matus Gamrat because if he's in that vulnerable position, if he gets it on the ground and is just under Matus, Matus is very heavy, big punches, big power, likes to strike from top. Uh, it, it's going to be a big, big pound for Jeremy Stevens. That's why I think uh, Matus Gamrat, despite him not moving well, him not having, for example, any uh, sort of strong offensive jujitsu, he has enough offensive wrestling. He has the the takedown defense and enough striking with the fight IQ. And this that's the most important thing because I, I see I see Jeremy Stevens always regressing when he, he's like a little caveman when he's in these. Uh, p positions he starts to regress into just wanting to kill you and under pressure I think that is what's going to cost him the most he gets angry he gets wild and he's just going to lead into Gamrot seizing dominant positions on the ground or capitalizing with more offensive striking on the feet um, I would look for Gamrot really to dominate this fight I don't think the Jeremy Stevens is going to get that flash KO I think again an another area where someone is just outclassed 
I love me some Jeremy Heath and Stevens. So does the UFC. So does every fan. He's a fan favorite. The guy's got to bring it. And he's not. And he's going to be difficult to finish. That's why I don't think this, this bout is going to finish. Um, I would just take this possibly Gamrot by, uh, I have him in, in a parlay, but I would possibly put him by decision, but might avoid this other than in a parlay play. And I'm going to explain some more of those in the next video. Since I think I've done with most of the fight analysis, I might do something with uh, Le Lemos and Ruiz, but I doubt it. I'm going to just explain what I'm doing with that particular bout, possibly in the next video. So like and subscribe. Thank you so much.